little weird today. Maybe a larger band as well. Happy Monday. If you want to grab a, a band, we're going to do just some shoulder circles, trying to keep arms straight, and also grab a towel or a stick. Nice, slow rotations. I got my palms facing my body. Gonna hold the band a little closer together as they get warmed up here. Good, and you can go side to side. Take your weights. Reach over and big side bends. And try flipping your palms forward and doing the same thing. Get a little bit different angle in a rotation. All right, arms are nice and warm there. Okay, let's go into some pigeon with compression, so a knee right up to your wrist, trying to get that toe up nice and high. Fully extend that back leg and compress forward. As low as you can, a little pause, think bring that chest to the ground. And then eventually let's try and do it without any assistance from your hands, but if you got to keep them down, that's okay. And let's switch sides. Have a stiffer side, maybe. No, it's not. It might be soft. Did a good shitheads workout today. Go check it out, Ma and Pa. Okay, if you're comfortable, release those hands. And good. Come up 90 90s here. So knees at 90 degrees. You can have your hands down there for assistance, kind of right beside you, because we want to keep our back nice and upright, keep our heels planted. Okay, I nail 90 degrees with my knees on one side, bring them to the over to the other side, and again they should be in 90 degrees there. Back and forth. Waking up our hips. And spend lots of time sitting so 90 90 is a great one to do kind of every day oh and I got a little hip crackage lovely keep going a few more let me ditch my sweater okay so got that band Grab it. We're gonna do some pull aparts. So you can just sit comfortable on your heels, okay, or on your butt, or you can even do the standing. Just squeezing those shoulder blades together, okay? Warming up our lats and our back, trying to fire your back muscles to pull the band apart, all right? Keep those shoulders down. Okay, we're gonna go for about 30 seconds here. Ready, set. Pull parts, let's go. If you don't have something to pull apart, you can always use a towel 
and obviously won't be able to go in a huge pull apart motion, but we can still try and pull our shoulder blades together, retract our scaps. Those are our shoulder blades. I need to warm up our muscles. And good. All right, let's hold a little more narrow than we would for the pull aparts. Hey, I'm gonna still pull the band apart and go press overhead, poking my head throughout the top, keeping tension by pulling the band apart, all right? Try and keep core tight. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Try not to shrug your shoulders at the top of your press there. Try and fully straighten those arms. Picture kind of your low back, hey, okay, pushing against a wall. I've done an overhead assessment a few, a few of you. So of course, staying tight overhead. A few more. And good. All right, let's stand up nice and wide. We're gonna make a T. So feet nice and wide. Make a T. Toes are forward. I'm going to twist, reach over to my opposite toe, okay? Come back, other side. All right, so this would be option one, windmill. Okay, keeping legs straight, hinging forward, keeping my spine straight. And then I really like doing these with just a little bit of weight. Again, lots of shoulder stability, overhead is great. We don't do enough that throughout the day. Let's try a few here. You can alternate. Go about 12 total. I'll go six on this side, six on the other. Kind of thinking about balancing something on my fist. And good, rest. All right, a little active mobility for our Monday. Here we go, we got tension, dead bug. So, got a little pillow, something to squeeze. Okay, we're gonna squeeze this object. Okay, extend one leg at a time. All right, best to do these with those like big blue balls, you know, the bouncy ones, ready? Before we just do a regular old dead bug, here we go, let's keep our head on the ground, spine good to the ground, let's go. So, by getting my head all the way down to my tailbone, glued to the ground, I'm figuring out here my neutral spine. So what it means to have a straight spine, core engaged, attempting to kind of get that heel to a hover, while keeping your back down and try and talk to your buddy. We gotta be tight when we do core, but we gotta be able to breathe. And good, rest. You can just try talking back to me when I'm chatting away here. Shut up, Stice. Okay, let's go in a kind of side plank, but I'm laying on my hip. Driving my toe up, toes are forward, just activated my glutes here. Hey, you can do this with or without a band. If you don't have a band, your core's gonna be able to go a little higher, just making sure hips are extended, legs going straight up, so not kind of pushing your hips back or kind of opening up at your hip. All right, let's try a few side leg raises. Ready, set, and go. Fully extend hips. And squeeze your booty to raise that heel. Going straight up. Hard with the band. Spoicy, other side. I'm gonna go in an angle, you can see me a little better here. 
And ready, set, go. Again, hips nice straight line, core's tight. Few more. And good. Rotate back over to the other side and we're going to extend our heel back. So you need a little support in front. Okay, so you can kind of counter driving that heel back and hips extended. That means a nice straight line. Ready, set, and go. Like a sweeper. And try and fire that glute, fire your hamstrings. Working together there, they're both gonna be feeling it. Good. Other side. Two. One and go. Core tight. So no arching at the back. And good rest. Gross. All right, let's go into a plank. Feet a little wider. I want you to pretend you're pulling something off the ground, keeping that elbow nice and close to your body. Think about those retractions we did, okay? Using a little bit of your back. Ready? We're gonna just hold plank though. You can always put your hands on a bench too if you need to elevate, all right? Set, go. We got one minute here. We're trying not to move hips too much. Yeah, booty's on fire. Core two, hopefully. 15 seconds. A few more. And beautiful rest. Okay. Let's see my best here. So let's superset some staggered stance deadlift. So I'll face you here. This is my stance. So I basically want all my weight on this one side. Now I'm gonna have the weight in my hand on that right arm, my right foot forward, weights all on this, this side here. And then I'm gonna hinge forward, okay? Just join, going down as far as I feel comfortable where I can keep my back straight, fire that front hamstring, snap back up. All right, so from the side, basically this foot's just there for a little bit of support. Maybe do these lots, my faves there. All right, and then we're gonna go into, we'll switch feet. Here's stag stance, but with a tricep extension. So you can use a soup can or a lightweight. Get that elbow back, get that knee down. All right, into, what do we got? Knee drives in a plank. All right, you can put your feet elevated, okay, or on the ground. Drive your knee out to the side, kind of Spider-Man style, straight out to the side there. You can bring your feet elevated. Again, you can also put your hands on the bench there. Uh, and then into, let's go and V-sit. Legs are straight, slight lean back, pressing the weight out. Think I'm in like a plank position. Everything's super tight there. No rounding at the back. All right, wheel about 
nice straight spine today. Okay, so let's do these. Let's do this thing. We're gonna go one minute per leg. I know, it'll be a little bit gross, but you can rest if you need to. It's just for quality. All right, here we go. I got my right foot forward, holding in my right hand. Just high on that back left toe. Set, go. Hinge, feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Feel your glutes load, and then you just wanna try and squeeze them. Push those hips through, flex your abs. That's gonna save your back. And then just having a nice straight spine like we talked about in that dead bug position. Head to tailbone, glued to the ground. Keep going. Rest as needed, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Keep that front heel down. And rest. Left hand, left foot forward. That foot or that leg too, that's supporting. It's staying straight, not completely locked out. Micro knee bend, but straight the whole time. Let's go. Other side. If your back starts to feel it, probably got to check in, make sure your glutes are working, your hammies, and then last that core. 15 seconds. All that weight should be in that one leg, keeping those shoulders straight. Here we go, a few more. And good rest. All right, I'm gonna go with my right arm, 30 seconds aside, tricep extension. If it's my right arm, I'm gonna have my left foot forward, okay? Here we go, split squat with a tricep extension. Let's go. Get that knee down. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Left arm, right foot forward. Let's go. Lunge down, 10 seconds. And good. All right, plank, knee drives. We're going here, straight out to the side. Squeeze your butt to drive that knee. Nice solid plank, put your hands on a bench. If you need a little love for your plank. Ready, set, and go. Exaggerate your plank. I'd rather you be higher than letting your hips sink in a lot and a back arched, all right? Basically, I'm saying I'd rather you be hunched. Think knee straight up to the side, then drive it up. Fifteen 
seconds. The hard one. And rest. Beautiful. Press out that slight lean back. I want you to work on, okay, taking some relief from your hip flexors, not letting those babies fire. Mine are just jiggling today. All right, ready, set, slight lean back. Nice, slow press outs. You find a spot where you almost feel like you're holding a plank. All right, nice straight spine. You can feel that core working. You're able to maintain your breath and kind of not firing your hip flexors. They're still gonna fire, but we don't want them doing all the work. Want those low abs working. And again, rest as needed, guys. All G. It's a long minute. Ten seconds. And good rest. All right. Deadlifts. Back to it. Fifteen seconds. Round two. We got a forty seconds aside. A little less this time. You're welcome. Here we go. Three. Two, one, let's go. Got a little heavier weight this round. Not that I really should be lifting weights today. Still feeling it. That's why the shithead one was a, a good workout. Now this body weight stuff. Ten seconds. And good. Switch sides. Two, one, and go. Halfway. Ten seconds. And rest. Beautiful. All right, split squats with the tricep extension, twenty seconds aside. Left foot forward. In my right arm, two, one, and squat. Let's go. Good, switch sides. A little faster, three, two, one. Here we go, other side. That knee down. Core is tight. Try not to shrug your shoulders. Good, knee drives. Plank knee drives again. Put your hands on a bench to modify. Let's go.
seconds. Like a plank. A few more. Good. Rest. And then we got a finisher. All right. So we got some kick throughs, plank jacks, hip drops, toe touches. So we're going to go try it all in a row. All right. Alternate. Kick through, but we're in straight um, plank position. Sometimes we'll do this in the tabletop. All right, twist, kick, or you can just bring one leg through. Twist and kick. Okay, then we got plank jacks. Right into it, or step out. Okay, and then hip drops. All right, so dropping one hip side to side. That will all be done in a row, okay? 15 seconds of each. You can go on your elbows, you can go on your hands. All right, and then we'll flip over into hey, toe touches. Flex those feet, press your spine down, try and touch those toes, all right? A little core burn finisher twice through. Ready, set, we're going kick throughs, 15 seconds, let's go. And you can go on your elbows. You don't even have to lift up your hand. Hey, plank jacks or step out. And hip drop, side to side. And up and over. Kick throughs, jacks, hip drops. We got that now. Elbows or hands. Here we go. Last set. Five seconds. Kick throughs, jacks, drops. Let's go. And you can just kick that leg through. Get a little twist. Three, two. One jacks. Two, one drops. Good work, almost done.
Oh, a little butterfly flea looks good. Maybe a little up dog as well. Oh, to stretch out those abs. Yeah, that feels good too. I'm gonna go back. Some pigeon. Pigeon never hurt nobody. Lots of planks today. Good work. Sad. All right, if you're part of the shake crew, want a little conditioning, it's no weight, check out today's workout. Hey, have a good week. See you Wednesday.